at the disc sander and I want you to take a look at these two pieces. This piece I have already done on the sander and this one I have not. And you can see that there's quite a bit of difference between the two. This one looks nice, this one doesn't. To use the power sander or disc sander, we're going to take and always keep our piece on the first half of the disc. You never want to work on the back side. As this is on, this is rotating in this direction and if you're on the back side it's going to want to lift a piece up and it's also going to throw a lot of sawdust at you. If you're on the front side the sandpaper is pushing down on the block holding it to the table and the dust goes into the dust collection system. So it's always best to keep it on the front side. And like every other power tool you want to make sure your sleeves are up and you have your safety glasses on. To properly use this, we're also going to use a miter gauge. The miter gauge is going to help us keep this flat. We could bring this up and kind of eyeball it so it's straight, but it probably isn't going to end up looking right. The miter gauge will help us make sure that it's right every time. Hold on to the miter gauge and bring your piece of wood up to the miter gauge keeping your knuckles and your fingers back and holding on to the end of the piece of wood, slide this forward until the piece comes in contact with the sand, sandpaper. It will quickly remove some material, only remove enough to make it smooth. You don't want to go too far because you're going to ruin this sanding paper and it's also going to shorten your block of wood. So all I have to do now is turn it on. If you have any extra blocks, don't leave them on the table. The vibrations can make them go off and you'd reach over to get those and that could cause an accident. So put them on a solid surface nearby. Go ahead and turn that on as well as your dust collection system. stop before you walk away and now we're going to be off and we're going to put a nice chamfer on this outside edge.